Hello guys, this is the Duda 2 and this is a uh, another review of uh, Go products. Um, this one's not uh, a review of Yellow Mountain Imports or other companies Go products, but um, Go programs for the Android phone. Um, I'm going to briefly go over a couple of the uh, programs and uh, tell you what I think about them. This is a list of my favorite apps. Uh, there's a couple more. These are going to be the ones I'll go over. Um, the main uh, app, it, you know, the, the free one, I believe you get it from Amazon apps, is uh, simply called Go. Um, it's a nifty little app, it's got a nice sound, it's got uh, statistics. You could see, uh, you know, as of right now I'm stuck on level 7, I'm, I'm losing a little more than I'm winning, but I made it, you know, that far. Um, single player, double player. Uh, it's got pretty nice inter interface. Uh, you get the 9x9 and the 13x13 13 free, and you spend, I, th I think it's like $199 or $299 for the 19x19 19 board. Um, you could pick white, black, you pick your difficulty, your handicap, and then uh, as you could see, you know, it's a pretty game. Uh, right where your fingers are is where, uh, you know, you, you got like a drag system. And it's not, not bad when you learn it. And what's real nice about it is if you mess up or accidentally click on the wrong thing, uh, it asks you if you want to overwrite. You said yes, and then you can pick a new move. Uh, it's a neat pro uh, program. Um, the only thing I dislike about it is there were a couple games where it said my groups were dead and my groups weren't. And it made me actually place an extra stone to say that my groups were alive. And one of the games I actually lost by 0.5 points because it didn't register my alive group as being alive. Um, so that is a bit of an issue. And you got your territory button, it gives you a nice territory estimate. As of right now, I'm losing by 11.5, and, and now I'm only losing by a half. And now I'm losing by 13 and a third and a half. So pretty neat. Um, and then at the end, you can resign, draw, or abandon. Uh, I'm going to be abandoning because I don't want this go against me and uh, there's that program then we have champion go by far my favorite and this program is really hard um, supposedly it's one of the few programs that will play at a professional level uh, I don't know you know how much of that I believe or not but it's definitely way stronger than me um, the best it's got a normal game uh, but the best thing about it is it has this metal challenge 9 by 9 13 by 13 19 by 19 and what's nice about it is it has the computer difficulty from easy to hard and the handicap from easy to hard. So if I could play like down here it would be like insane if I could beat that. You know, that'd be crazy. But um, here's your handicap. You know, uh, this is where I'm at. You, you could kind of see where my skill level is going. You know, I could beat level 8 with a 9 handicap. But, um, you know, I just get creamed. Uh, you, you know, at level 9, but I mean, I, it was hard to beat it at level 8. But uh, you start your game, and you know, here's uh, an even nicer interface that has a zoom in. You zoom in, you place your stone. If you ever need to zoom out, you just hit the square and you zoom right back out. Uh, it's pretty neat. You can zoom in and you can move around. Ah, I separated the stones. I'm easily amused. But, uh, the interface is pretty nice. Uh, it's got a nice screen. You could exit, um, and you can play a normal game. And the normal game, you know, gives you a lot of options, including the nigiri, uh, where it randomly chooses who goes first. And you could even do time limits, which, you know, what do you do when you're playing the computer? You know, they won't screw up on that. You're not going to win a game that way. And it also saves your games. Uh, you know, here, here are tons of games that I've played that I, I'm like, oh, this is the best game ever, I'll save it, and then I end up saving another. So that's a good one. This is a, an app, it's called Go, uh, Go Information. Um, basically, it's got the AGA website, the American Go Foundation. It's got a bunch of online, KGS, IGS, Dragon Go Server, different uh, apps for, you know, that the Androids are compatible with. It's got Pro Games and Review, Sensei's Library, can't go wrong with that. Uh, by Go Shate, Sl Sh Slate and Shell, which is a, uh, they sell Go books. By Go sells Go products. Sensei's Library is a big archive of Go stuff. Go Game World and Go Guru and Fly or Die uh, have game commentaries. Uh, 
you know, excellent resources. Uh, Go Bandroid is another good one. Um, it has GNU Go, so you could play against a computer. Uh, you could choose, you know, their strength and go at it. Uh, it's a very simple, you, you know, format. It's very simple. You just click and go. You can go back. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a really good program for um, keeping track of your games uh, because it saves the file as a, um, you know, KGS uh, or a typical a Go file. You know, so you can uh, view it in other applications. Um, yeah, I got out of there too quick. Like, like right here, if you want to record your game, you could just, you know, enter it and it saves it. Um, you could also review professional games, and it has a list of, you know, like right here, professional game, and uh, here's here's your commentary. You know, each move, and there are variations. Uh, you know, if you want to choose A or B, uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, great learning tool. Um, and then, let's see, I'm running low on time, so I'm going to breeze through these. Um, GoDroid is a classic. Um, it has, uh, right now I have the computer plays itself, um, and, you know, white resigned, but here's a game that it played with itself. It's got a beautiful, uh, you know, mosaic type, uh, feel up there. Um, there's We Go Ego which is another favorite. You could play a game. And the best part about it is it works with Kogo's Joseki Dictionary. So you could download um, the Joseki Dictionary, Kogo's Joseki Dictionary, and basically uh, what it is is uh, Komaku. So it tells you Komaku. Uh, you could play A, B, C. A does this, B does this. And it'll work you through uh, the different variations, uh, the different Joseki. Heck of a tool. Uh, it's a must-have. It's also free and you could pay money for a better version. Um, here I have Go Grinder is another one of my favorites. Um, you know, black to play. I'm gonna screw this up. Oh, look at that. I solved it. Just by randomly figuring out, just by randomly touching a screen, I managed to solve this complicated Go problem. Which is actually probably a really simple Go problem. I just kinda suck. But it has a solution, back, restart. Uh, it keeps track of your percentages. Right now I'm at 46%, not very good. Um, and then, uh, you, you know, these are different. Here's Android Go problems here, uh, a little more wider board, a little more complicated. Um, and then we have uh, Yo Chang Hyuk's Life and Death Classes. It actually keeps track of your score uh, with other people. Like right, right now I'm 28,000 uh, out of however many. It uh, looks like I'm, I'm beating Harry Chen, which is amazing that I'm beating anybody because I'm really not that great at life and death problems. But it, it's it's neat. It gives you something to work for. Here's uh, another free program. It's a light version. I have yet to find the non-light version. But uh, Jung Suk, Baduk Jung Suk, uh, Jung Suk is a Korean word for Joseki. So um, it's got a lot of options, but for some reason, um, you know, it's it's definitely a demo. So right now you pick your point, 3-3 three, three point, you pick your approach, we'll go with the diagonal approach, and then you pick your next move, and there are none, and it says light version does not support, which, you know, is just sucky, because you don't know what it supports, what it doesn't support, but it'll give you uh, different Joseki combinations. Uh, it would be really nice if it were finished. Um, we have a chess clock, which you could also, uh, you set for a go clock, you just hit start, Click it, click it, and it has uh, the options of, you know, you configure. You got uh, Sudden Death, uh, the Fischer, the Bronstein, Scrabble, Japanese Boyomi. Um, so you have everything you need to play uh, chess or a game of Go, however you like. Um, Panda Tatsuki is a, a server. I've only played like two games on it, um, one for one. Um, but it's uh, it's neat. You basically get yourself an account. It connects. It says you're logged in. It gives you a list of all the players on. Uh, you know they're in order of their rank and uh, the different invitations and archives of your game. And actually, some of these games I didn't play. Um, yeah, it looks like I played three games. Won one of them, so I'm one for three. 
but uh, it's it's also got a list of uh, it'll SGF files. When I said KGS earlier, I meant SGF. Uh, I got some SGF files that it'll open up and actually play. So that's pretty neat. And then um, the other one I didn't go over is this uh, program here. It's from Silverstar. It's a Japanese program, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, it has you know a lot of the options and it shows the actual uh, place to place your stone way above where you're at uh, way above your finger and it's got a beautiful sound and what's nice is when you capture a prisoner um, it actually shows them in the bowl so it's just a nice little thing and also it's got hints and it also um, at the end of the game it says thank you I mean what, what more can you ask it kicks your butt and it says thank you or if you beat it, it's actually like, thank you for the game. So you could tell, you know, it's Japanese in nature. Uh, it's really nice. And another thing that used to be free, but they're trying to charge now, which is frustrating, is Badook TV for the droid. Um, it's a Korean TV uh, channel uh, dedicated specifically to Go. And I, uh, right here. You can turn sideways, you watch it, but for some reason after a couple minutes it says pay and it wants you to pay nine dollars a month. Well worth it, except I am unable to watch it except, uh, you know, at work where my uh, uh, internet connection isn't good enough to enjoy it. Uh, here you can see, you know, they got computer programs to help you, you know, learn the game if you speak Korean, but uh, it's a heck of a, uh, it's a heck of a, uh, application you know you can watch professionals play go all the time and there are a few more uh, nifty little programs some of them in another language that I don't even speak like this one here uh, it's some type of Baduk school I don't know what I'm clicking on uh, I just hit next usually and then I pick this and then it looks like these are different learning levels you pick it and uh, you know it's showing you a pattern to memorize and then you practice it and then you do it on your own I already forgot let's see here yep did it and then it asks you questions it says good job you know and then it shows you if you did good or bad which evidently that one was bad so um, I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions about any of the apps, uh, or how to install them, or maybe how to get uh, Kogo's Joseki library on Wego Ego, uh, let me know. Uh, and if you come up with some really good apps that I missed, uh, let me know on that too. I've downloaded every Go app. Every week or two I go and check and see if there's any more. So uh, this is it. Uh, Please, uh, if you like these videos, subscribe, and if you have any questions or if you have any video requests, let me know. I'm glad to do them. Uh, thank you for your support. This is the Duda 2 signing off with another uh, review. Thank you and have a good day.